for new romance, I have a work called Maneuvers, which is, I guess, an immersive environment of kind of colour and sound. I created the work using flip dot displays, which are an electromagnetic signage, like, like an old technology, which was originally created for the stock market and they're still used today for bus signage and scoreboards. And so I've worked with um, an engineer to program these objects to create sort of yeah, an environment which the audience can move through, follow the, following the sound and following the colour. I was really interested in you know, mechanisms, I suppose, as, as a material. There's a certain sort of tactility to them that I really liked. And so I've created 15 screens, which I kind of was wanting to think about these this kind of signage and imagining what would happen if you sort of removed all the information and it was almost like they were communicating amongst themselves and maybe playing games a little bit with the audience and yeah and talking in a language maybe that we don't understand. They run through a specific sort of I guess choreography which is what I started thinking of it as so I was almost thinking of them as being dancers or musicians and I was either the composer or the choreographer telling everyone what to do at once. I've sort of approached it with a certain like anthropomorphizing the objects and making them almost human in a way or imagining sort of setting them free. It was a different approach for me in a way because I often think of like materials as being performers in my work but with this it was the first opportunity I had to actually completely I guess program something and control the objects so I was thinking a lot about the movement of the objects the choreography of the objects the choreography of the sound and the that they create through the flicking of the um, of the dots but also the choreography of the audience so the title maneuvers sort of relates to I guess creating a work and thinking about, well, you know, thinking about, I guess, the series of decisions that maybe you make as an artist to position an audience or to get them to come to some sort of conclusion or to get them to move through a space. One of the challenging things for me about making uh, this work was, and one of the wonderful things as well was, I guess, the technical ambition had been has been upped. I was getting to, you know, work with an engineer who was doing all this like control engineering and also. Um, creating a platform from which I can program these objects. And so I do, in my practice, enjoy working with different professionals and in different fields of knowledge. It's, um, you know, it's like learning a new language or and getting access to knowledge and skills that you don't have. And so I, I kind of enjoy that. But it also changes the way that you work and you are tied up with someone else. And there is like a sort of certain lack of control which is kind of wonderful, but then also can be incredibly frustrating as well. I've realised that that's also part of the thing of working with technology. I was interested in using these devices, which were sort of, I guess, are usually an information technology and sort of stripping them of that function and kind of giving them their own language where they would sort of communicate amongst each other, I guess anthropomorphising these objects and imagining them having some sort of life of their own. And I think through maybe doing that, considering our relationship that we have to these kind of objects in the world and how they are often sort of go unnoticed and unconsidered in our sort of daily commute and, you know, experience sort of as we move through the world in a very fast pace.